Today is shopping day and I'm here in Shibuya, which is one of the famous shopping destinations in Japan. I'm heading to Shibuya 109, also known as Ichimaru Q, which is a department store in Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan. Shibuya 109 is a tube-shaped building that offers a variety of entertainment in addition to fashion, cosmetics, and food, and there are about 120 shops all over 10 floors. If you haven't noticed, I went to Japan during Christmas time, and most shops are offering discounted products. Stores in Shibuya 109 are known for offering cornucopia of hot items including apparel, shoes, bags, accessories, and sun-dried items, all at a reasonable price. Also, don't hesitate to ask for help as they will be there to give you a helping hand. In this building, they also have famous Korean brands such as Atu House and Innisfree. You will see that in every floor, there are numerous stores that have different style of clothing. So one store might be a chic style clothing, while the other next to it will introduce street wear. As you probably realize, the building is designed as a fashion community, containing small retail stores targeting female consumers. I also went here to buy Christmas gifts for my family and friends, and this accessory store is a great place to buy unique designs that will suit each individual's taste. The store assistant told me that they have hundreds of designs ranging from simple and extravagant earrings, rings, bracelets, necklaces, hair accessories that you can wear in any given occasions. This store sells a lot of socks and some are branded and some are just too adorable to give as cute Christmas presents. Or if you just ran out of socks while you were traveling, this is also a great place to pick them up. Traveling around, my screen protector was damaged, so I popped by Galette, which is a phone accessory store, and I picked up a new case as well as a new screen protector. There are loads of particular places which are sticker photo booths in Tokyo, and Moreru Mignon is one of the fanciest sticker shops that has charming interiors and props.
The decor focused on pastel and sweet colors, which are selfie ready. They also sell their own merchandise if you're interested. There are available restaurants and cafe in the building, so if you get hungry during shopping, there's places where you can take a rest. I was planning to go to Café Mamesa, which is a restaurant and cafe, so I can have both lunch and dessert one after the other. They also have amazing selection of sweet cakes and drinks. After a quick break, I went around again to look for more gifts and I passed by more trending style of clothes. One of the store is called Call Me Baby. I had no idea that they have Sanrio store inside Shibuya 109, so I was so excited because if you must know, I love Sanrio and I used to collect it when I was young. So if you're a big fan or you know someone who adores it, then this is the place to go. friend of mine told me to check out SBY, which is a dizzling array of cute imported items, accessories, and even cosmetics. The concept behind the shop is the joy of discovering new things, which is about right. I also bought a couple of new makeup and perfume for my friends. I don't wear colored contacts, but I do have friends that do, so I bought a few to give them out. So it's almost dinner time and I couldn't believe I was shopping for hours but I went around and there's so many restaurants to choose from. So I tried to go to the one that had the longest queue because it only means one thing that the food must be delicious. I was looking at the selection of the restaurant in this building that looks very promising but I chose another restaurant because I was craving noodles. After a few minutes of waiting, I can finally go inside this noodle place in Shibuya and as always, I'm purchasing my meal using this ticket machine. I chose this slow cooked beef with rice cakes and noodles and topped it off with spring onions. I also went to VR Park Tokyo to try out the claw machines. They have loads of games to play and different prizes to be won, such as sweet treats, toys, action figures, and gadgets. And I believe each game costs 100 yen, depending on which machine you use. Guess who won? Once again, thank you again so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.